So let's start testing the config that we have done. So how do we test it? We test by creating a rebate agreement using the agreement type that we have created Z002 and then add condition regards against that agreement. Right? So these are the two basic steps. Create a rebate agreement and create condition records for that rebate agreement. Once that is done, we can start creating transactions. Okay, we are done with this part. So we are moving away from SPRO because creating rebate agreements is not an SPRO transaction. It's a user transaction, easy access. So we go to logistics, sales and distribution, master data, agreements, and rebate agreement. Remember, this is VB01, not VB01. Create Z002, that's the newly created rebate agreement. Enter. And it's going to be 401000. Right? Who's the rebate recipient? Let's say the same old 1400. Okay? And what are the conditions? These are the condition records. It's going to be based on customer material combination, right? We got the customer here. We're going to put in material M02. And uh, let's say an accrual of uh, 150 euro. So each piece is like $800 or 800 euros. We're going to accumulate 150 euros, right, for every piece. Save. Done. Rebate agreement is ready. What do we do next? We start creating transactions. And we don't just look at the sales order because we can't see the condition type, rebate condition type in the sales order. We have to look at the invoice, right? So we create a sales order, we create a delivery, and then we create an invoice. Only then we can see the actual rebate condition type and the amount show up on the screen. So how do we do that? The process is a bit laborious because we have to create an order. And remember the document type also. If you have set it for F2 as the billing document type, should trigger that rebate you should use the same document type and of course the same customer meaning payer and sales area if you are using something different rebates will not be triggered because you have to configure things according and then our material for which we have created the rebate agreement type all right now if you go to the pricing of that line item the sales order you will not see it the rebate condition type why? Because of the requirement 24 in the pricing procedure. So let's go do the delivery real quick. You can fast forward this part if you really are not interested in it because you have seen it already. No schedule lines. We know that. We're going to set it to 4, a future date. And. Since picking is disabled because it's a transfer order related, warehouse management related delivery, we're going to do a transfer order. Everything is all set actually, so it's not a big deal. Create a transfer order. Save it. Go back. Okay, there's our order. And uh, let's do the delivery. Finishing up the transfer order going back to the delivery and doing a pgi coming to the invoice now at the line item level we should see a z020 you see that yes okay and the amount is 150 and it's a statistical condition now we have not set it specifically to be statistical in the pricing procedure itself it kind of flip-flops between statistical and non-statistical. It is statistical in a regular sales order invoice process. But when you do a settlement, like a partial settlement, final settlement, or a manual accrual, not for manual accruals, but for settlements, when you actually give out credit memos to the customer, meaning giving the money back to the customer, then it becomes a non-statistical condition type. Right? And how does SAP do it? It's all internal coding. So we don't we don't care how SAP flip-flops between 
statistical and non-statistical. So that's the reason why we should not set it as statistical. So we got our 150 euros accumulating in that transaction, right, in that account. So we have created Z, this order delivery billing and our Z020 condition type with $150 did really come up. If you look at the accounting, you'll see that the accruals will have the dollar, Euro 150 and the reserves will have 150. One is a credit and one is a debit, right? You can, you can check it here. Oh, accounting condition type. So we have created a new condition type, right? Z020. It needs to be set in COPA. And creating these manual accruals, partial settlement, final settlement is just as easy. You can create a manual accrual, which is basically accruing more amount of the kitty, and it creates a manual accrual document. It's like a uh, it's not even a credit memo, it's a different kind of document that basically accrues values into those statistical accounts. One is the accrual, another is the reserve, right? And make sure that these documents have been billed. If you don't see them billed, the S060 table will not be updated. Okay, that's the manual accrual. Manual accrual is putting money into the kitty. Prepay is like a credit memo, okay? And it's called a partial settlement, which is basically prepay. You got a, you already accumulated 150 euros. Let's go prepay some part of it or full of it or in full. And make sure that you always enter a negative value. So in this case, we are paying 25 euros out of the 60, let's say, and you got to put a negative there, minus 25. Okay, if you don't do that, it'll it'll not have the desired effect. Basically, when you settle, you gotta settle it as a credit memo, right? And that's the reason why you put a negative sign there. And this credit memo again needs to be final. If you don't do that, you won't see the amount being reflected in S zero six zero. And then finally, the final settlement, right? So there's a total of sixty euros in there, and if you want to do a final settlement, all of the amount can be settled. This is actually not a correct screen. It says partial rebate settlement. That's not correct. It just says credit memo created. And that will be for the entire amount. And before you do that, you have to change the status and agreement to released for settlement. Unless you do that, the rebate agreement does not create the final settlement document, which is a credit memo. And in order to test it, you can always go to S060 table and see how much has been paid, how much has been accrued, and how much has been reversed from the accrual. Okay, So essentially, these two will typically be the same. Now, what has been paid is the accrual that has been reversed. Right? And to check the rebate agreement for totals, make sure that you go to SC38 and run this program, SD bound T06. That will update the sales values. And in the menu of the agreement, you can see all the rebate documents that have been created. Partial settlements, final settlements, accruals, manual accruals. That finishes up rebates.